You're a great looking guy. You've got this great house, great job. You live alone, no kids, and you can cook. It's a friendship. It's a friendship. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm not afraid about getting older. Maybe you are, but I'm going to embrace my 30s fully. Embrace what? You ain't got nothing or no one to embrace. Let, let me tell you something. No strippers. I have a high tolerance for alcohol. It's OK. <laughs> I'm not going to be alone. Oh, so that's funny. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I'm actually going to have a date tomorrow. Whatever you do, you do not tell him that you're an escort. You are an after-school counselor, OK? To be honest with you, I don't, I don't think she was really too good for you anyway, man. I really don't. What are you talking about? She was perfect. As a matter of fact, we have a lot in common. You say what? Yeah. All right, it's all about making mistakes and making the imperfections in women perfect. It's about love, man. She's a thief. Are you out of your damn mind? I can't walk away. Oh, my God. You give me this pathetic speech about how you want to get your life together, and then you go and sleep with Jesse's friend for $500? Move on. I have moved on. You think I did all of this just to have sex with you or sleep with you? Oh, man, look, I just came over to say I'm sorry, OK? I didn't mean things to turn out the way they did. I was just trying to look out for my boy, and things got out of hand. Meeting you was not a mistake, okay? And if it was, it was the best mistake in my life. I don't know about you, but I'm willing to take a step of faith, okay? So you ready for your dirty, dirty man? Hmm, don't remind me.